Hi guys, Peter Finch here, and today we're going to talk about a great drill that you can use to help if you have something known as early extension in the golf swing. Now, early extension is when you get into a good posture, um, when you get set up to the ball, swing to the top, but then from here, the hips begin to move forwards away from their original starting point and you almost get a little bit flicky down through impact. It can cause a number of problems. If the hips move forwards towards the ball, there are a number of problems that can actually happen through the point of impact. But I've got a great, a great little drill that you can use to kind of stop that. And you don't even need to go to the driving range. You can use this in your own home. Now, I've got here, quite simply, a nice stool lovely Ikea stool. Not, I suppose, intended uh, for this original purpose, but it works nonetheless. And this drill is all about repetition because what this does, it really gets you feeling the differences that you want to be seeing if you do have that early extension and that early lift up of the spine angle. So really, really simple. I have my stool here, which I would normally save eating breakfast off at my uh, breakfast table, uh, which I don't have, so I don't know why I'm saying this. It's in the studio, so this is where I sit down with my clients down here. And I've got this here just so it's resting up against my backside as I get into my posture position. Now, it's important for this that I can actually feel it. So I can actually feel it resting against my backside here. Because what I want to know is if I move off it, I want to feel that drop in pressure of it actually pressing down onto the top of my back, the bottom of my back here. So it's kind of, you can either do it when it's pressing down onto the lower half of the back, pressing down onto the backside, or the very top of the thigh. One of these things will work, but as long as you can feel it there, you just don't want to not feel it. That's the real key. So getting into that setup position, where my hips are pressed against it. Now what I want to be feeling here is that as I turn away, I can still feel, especially the back side of my right back side, the back side of my right back side, my back bum cheek or the top, the, the bottom half of my lower back. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to skip around saying kind of like probably not kind of maybe PC words here. From now on, I'm just going to use backside. Backside seems like a nice word to use, better than arse or ass. I'm gonna use backside, we'll use backside. So again, the setup, backside nicely pressed up against the stool, taking it away, and from here, you wanna feel the right hand half of your backside turning and actually touching the chair here. Now on the way through, what you wanna be feeling like is that the hips and the backside is actually sliding along the stool. And as you come down into impact, the left hip and the left backside are actually turning away and almost moving the stool out of the way. Now you can see, if you were to get into this position, from my original hip position and spine position to my spine position impact, you can almost see I've increased it slightly. And it's actually really not early extended at all. My hips are so far back and so far out of the way. And you can actually do this I'll just move this slightly out of the way. If you don't mind the stairs at the driving range, you can actually do this within a drill hitting shot. Well, like I said, this is an indoor drill specifically, but just an indoor drill hitting shot. So turn away, right backside, and then that left hip bumping that stool back out of the way on the way through. So it's a drill you can use both indoors and outdoors. There's also something you can add to this, which I think is quite key. Give me one moment. Because one thing you do see with a lot of people who kind of possibly think that they early extend, but actually they don't really early extend that much, is when someone comes through impact and the right heel lifts up quite a long way. Now what happens then? People can still keep their hips back but lift up their right leg and it almost looks to them like their hips are moving forward and they're early extending. But you can add this little drill in here to the same kind of early extension drill and absolutely nail both points. Now what you want to do in this example is get an alignment stick so it's just pressed down underneath your right foot, as you can see here. Backside against the stool again, taking it away, right hand backside, moving those hips through and pushing it away, but at the same time, actually maintaining the right foot here down on the alignment stick. The only real feeling you want with that right foot is that it's almost rolling off the side. So just to give you a bit of a different perspective on this. And like I said, this is so much a, a drill which is kind of based on 
just repetition and repetition of it. Because what you can do in the winter, which you might not have time to do in the summer, is literally just go to your garage, go to your spare room, or straight in front of the TV, annoy the rest of the family, and just work on stuff in the warmth of your own home. And you can work on stuff and practice stuff and without even really knowing that you, knowing you will actually improve. It is something that works, honestly, trust me. So it's getting in that setup position. You can see in the middle of my right foot here, hips press back against the stool, taking it away, maintaining the spine angle, right backside onto the stool, sliding along, bumping the left hip, turning the left hip up and out of the way and almost feeling like that stool is moving back whilst rolling that right foot or keeping that right foot nice and stable before moving through into an impact position. And it is really as simple as that. And like I said, it's just doing that kind of time and time and time and time again. Right guys, let me know what you think. Please subscribe to the channel as always, comment in the box below and let me know any questions that you have. I'll try to get back to as many as possible. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well and we will see you down here next time.